For centuries, Europe has been taming its rivers with an extensive network of over 150,000 dams. These towering structures, some dating back to the early 1900s, were once seen as symbols of progress and power, generating electricity, controlling floods, and fueling industrial growth. However, this came at a hidden cost. The dams disrupted the natural rhythms of the rivers, damaging fragile ecosystems and threatening the survival of migratory fish. As these aging barriers reached the end of their lifespan, they became costly hazards. But now, a quiet revolution is underway across Europe a movement to dismantle these dams and restore the free flow of the rivers. One remarkable story of transformation unfolded on Finland's Hidolanioki River, a 53-kilometer waterway that flows into the vast Lake Ladoga. For over a century, this precious ecosystem had faced severe disruption due to several major dams, Kangaskoski, Lanasinkoski, and Ritikoski. These barriers fragmented the river's flow, creating insurmountable obstacles for the salmon's vital migration to their upstream spawning grounds. The consequences extended far beyond the salmon. These dams altered the water levels, sediment transport, and fragmented the habitats of countless species dependent on the river's connectivity. In the late 1990s, the tide began to turn as smaller barriers on the Russian side of the river were removed, and the reappearance of salmon below the Kangaskoski Dam ignited a local movement to restore the Hitalanioki's natural flow. After a decade of legal challenges, a groundbreaking decision was reached. The hydropower companies would sell their dams and plants, paving the way for Finland's most ambitious river restoration project to date. Between 2017 and 2019, the three aging hydropower plants were acquired, setting the stage for their momentous dismantling. In September 2021, the first chapter of this transformation unfolded with the demolition of the Kangaskoski Dam. The sight that emerged within mere weeks was truly thrilling. Salmon spawning nests dotted the newly opened river section. A year later, in July 2022, the largest dam, Planasinkoski, was also removed. The final chapter in this restoration story centered on the Ritikoski Dam, a four-meter-high barrier constructed in 1921 that was the furthest upstream obstacle. In August 2023, a carefully planned four-month process began to dismantle the dam and restore the surrounding rapids, at a cost of approximately 750,000 euros, made possible through the generous support of public and private donors committed to ecological restoration. While the Ritikoski Dam's removal coincided with the autumn 2023 salmon spawning season, making immediate observations challenging, the results further downstream have been immensely promising. Surveys in September 2023 revealed a remarkable density of over 200 salmonid fry per 10 by 10 meter area at the Kangaskoski site, a testament to the remarkable recovery of the river ecosystem. But how exactly do engineers tackle the daunting task of dismantling these titans of concrete and steel? It's a complex engineering process that requires meticulous planning and consideration of the unique conditions of each dam. Engineers approach each project as a unique puzzle, studying the structure's age, size, and the specific conditions of the surrounding landscape. Their goal is not just to take down the concrete, but also to manage the massive volume of sediment that's been trapped behind it for years or even decades. They employ a variety of strategies, from the notch and release approach, which allows water to escape in stages, to the rapid release approach, which involves a sudden powerful torrent of water and sediment. These dam removal projects can be incredibly expensive, with the average cost of removing a 10 meter high dam estimated at $6.2 million but the ecological rewards can be immense, as evidenced by the transformation of the Hitolanioki River and many other waterways across Europe. In 2022, a record-breaking 325 dams and weirs were dismantled, revitalizing these crucial freshwater lifelines. Spain, Sweden, and France led the charge, with even newcomers like Latvia and Luxembourg getting involved. The majority of these barriers, a staggering 73%, were smaller weirs, but their removal has had a significant impact on river flow and ecosystem restoration. These efforts are vital, as restoring free-flowing rivers helps reverse the alarming loss of biodiversity, a top threat to our world. One of the most inspiring stories comes from war-torn Ukraine, where even amidst hardship, the 120-year-old Byrivka Dam on the Pirkalaba River was removed. 
opening 27 kilometers of habitat for endangered species like the Danube salmon. The return of thriving fish populations could even create a biodiversity hotspot in the Carpathians. Across Europe, projects like these are unlocking kilometers of rivers, reconnecting habitats and revitalizing these vital ecosystems. In total, at least 832 kilometers of river pathways were reconnected in 2022. While hydropower remains an important renewable energy source, many dams are reaching the end of their lifespan. And Europe alone has about 150,000 obsolete structures. The transformation we're witnessing is just the beginning of a dam removal revolution. As communities and organizations come together to restore the natural flow and vitality of our rivers. It's a story of resilience, innovation, and a deep respect for the delicate balance of our aquatic ecosystems. If you found this video informative, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with more stories of environmental restoration and the remarkable efforts to revive our precious waterways.